Right now we are hearing from the new chief of the Catawba Nation who says he is working to get a casino project stuck in regulatory issues off the ground. But he says the company they initially partnered with for the project is holding that progress back. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger had the chance to talk to the new chief today. Catawba Nation Chief Brian Harris has only been in the job for the past couple of months, but he says he's been working to right what he says are wrongs with the Catawba Two Kings Casino project. And he says a company that the tribe have been working with wants $125 million plus a few million dollars more annually to part ways. The Catawba Two Kings Casino, which is off Interstate 85 and Dixon School Road in Kings Mountain, is still located at its temporary site, which is made up of a series of trailers together. The plans were for a larger type of facility, but that has been stalled due to a series of regulatory issues over the years. Chief among them that the Catawba's partner in this, Skyboat Gaming, had too much control over the project that should, because of Indian gaming laws, have had more Catawba control. To end that relationship for good, though, Skyboat wants $125 million plus $6 million annually for parking lot access, which Skyboat owns. In an interview Thursday, Chief Brian Harris told Queen City News that the deal is too much and that Skyboat and the previous Catawba administration opened the casino without everything up to par. We opened up in violation of NIGC. Uh, Skyboat knew it. Our previous administration knew it. They did it anyway. Uh, and they buy their time out until we got the notice of violation. Harris told Queen City News that the deal they had did have issues. The National Indian Gaming Commission found as much in findings released last year when a notice of violation was sent to both the tribe and to Skyboat Gaming. An investigation found that the Catawba Nation allowed Skyboat to manage the expansion of the casino without a management contract. At this point, though, the business relationship appears to have deteriorated. We don't um, disagree that uh, they are owed something. Mm. Uh, However, they have not, uh, I guess, produced the information, documents uh, that we need to justify that. The Catawba Nation is now working with other firms and is in compliance, but Harris said the land issues with Skyboat are holding back any further construction and progress at the site. They say they want to build a casino, and they say it will happen. We are patient, and we want to get it right. We want to make sure that we are being in right and we get a fair deal. We did reach out to Skyboat Gaming to get a response to what the Catawba Nation and Chief Harris himself are saying. They did not respond by our deadline. Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.